Hello world, tis I, Satonic, risen from the grave, raised from the dead, back from the tomb. I know, I know, it's been four, four long months without a video, the world's been burning, and um, you're, you're probably uh, thinking I went down with it. But alas, I have not, I'm back, and the reason for which, well, that's long and complicated, though contrary to popular belief, I can confirm I was not captured by the Chinese following my video exposing Huawei, nor was I infused with shame after proclaiming Anonymous was gone forever, only to be roasted in the comments a few months later on their apparent return. The reasons for my hiatus are much more boring and complex, but nevertheless, uh, whatever the reasons, the outcome is the same, I can confirm I am back. Sadly, sadly yes, this does mean your sub box is about to be spammed with various top quality contents. So in order to prepare yourselves, I suggest turning on notifications as a matter of some urgency. I know you probably never get asked to, to do this, but um, it's quite easy and it is free. And while you're there, you might as well smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm or, or the AI, I suppose I should term it. That's probably more accurate. I haven't just been stuffing my mouth with pizza and watching the world burn for the last few months. I've also been working on some new toys for my store, Maltronics. I use the, the words toys loosely there, of course. Um, so yeah, I wanted to give you guys a sneak peek of something we've been working on for the past while. So a couple of years ago, you, you, may, you may remember, I sometimes mention this, I came out with the Malduino. It was essentially an Arduino-based bad USB. You put your bad USB scripts on a micro SD card, put the micro SD card in the Malduino, select the script you want with the onboard set of dip switches, plug him in, and your script will be executed. This allows you to do pretty much anything you want on a target PC, as the Malduino emulates a keyboard. It just executes the keystrokes you tell it to. So since keyboard input is inherently trusted by computers, so is the Malduino. Of course, it was inspired by the USB rubber ducky. Though today, 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 I wanted to give you a short, short little sneak peek of something we've been working on for the last few months. Um, so yeah, let's, let's jump into it. So, Ladies and gentlemen, I can proudly introduce the Malduino W. This is the wireless bad USB. But what does that mean? How does it work? What can it do? Well, we'll get to those questions in just a moment. But first, let's take a let's take a look at it. It comes in this magnificent midnight black metallic case. You'll notice it has USB A and C on each end, so it'll work with pretty much any computer. You'll notice here the case is angled, which kind of makes it look like some kind of spaceship. In fact, it is modelled on Darth Vader's TIE Fighter, believe it or not. We took the TIE Fighter, squashed it, scratched it, thus producing this iconic look. So let's plug him in and take him for a spin. Again, remember, type A and type C, so it'll fit in pretty much any PC, even those annoying laptops that only have a single type C port. Now you'll see on plug-in, he lights up. And that's because, yes, we did it. We put RGB inside a Malduino, because why not? Okay, so once plugged in, he will spawn his very own Wi-Fi access point called, if it wants to focus, Malduino W. So you need to just connect to that with pretty much any device. So here we have an Android connected, an iPhone, and a generic ThinkPad. And once connected, you just need to navigate to his web address, malduinow.tools. Okay, so I'm going to show you the Malduino W control panel here on an iPhone, just to prove that, yes, you can control your Malduino W with pretty much anything. So here we go, malduinow.tools. We can see our scripts, a script editor, so we can edit our scripts. And then some scripting basics, in case you forget how the whole scripting thing works. And yes, this uses the same scripting language as the generic Malduino, the same thing that's been around for forever. So um, yeah, nothing changes in that sense. So let's have a look at our Rick um, script here. I'll press edit on that. So you can see at the top, I've set locale GB, and that's because you can change the keyboard language now within the script itself. So no needs to reprogram the whole device to change the language. You can do it within the script. Now, next, we've got a few LED commands because, of course, we put an RGB LED on the Malduino, so we might as well give you a way to control it. So here, you can issue LED commands. 
So the first command there sets it to red, then green, and then blue at the bottom. So just to prove that it can be done. In all, the Malduino has about 16 million colors you can use, so that's, that's pretty cool. And then at the bottom, we've just got the same script as I showed you earlier with the Malduino. Opens a, a run prompt, and then opens up Chrome with a certain YouTube link. I'll leave, your, I'll leave it to your imagination to guess what that is. And then it opens it, taps F to full screen the video, and then taps M just to mute it so I don't get copy striked. So let's run it because that's what we're here for, right? And there you go. I realize you only saw the Malduino itself there, but you saw it did change colors. So let me repoint the camera at the screen and you can see what actually goes on. Okay, so same script, Malduino W in the corner there. I'm just about to hit run. RGB. And there we go, it's that simple. So you can store pretty much as many scripts as you want. Scripts in of themselves are just text files, so they don't really take up that much space at all. So that's just a small taste of what the Malduino W can do. There's a whole lot more that I just can't wait to show you, but that'll have to come a little later. We're just putting some finishing touches on it at the moment, though it should be ready and on Maltronics within a couple of weeks. And if you want to be notified of when it goes live, I highly suggest you go to maltronics.com, scroll down and sign up to our email list. I will announce it on YouTube, of course, but only a few days after it's gone live. And we tend to sell out pretty quickly when we release new stuff. So signing up to the email list is your best shot. Anyhow, uh, I think that's about it, guys. I'm really glad to be back and can't wait to put out more videos. Remember to smash the like button, notification bell, sub, and stay tuned for more hacking videos. Have a good one.